Hello everybody and welcome back to Manine's Nail Station. I haven't been able to give you content for a while as I was moving into a new exciting salon. Um, so I moved into a new premises as you can see my surroundings are a little bit different. I'm going to, it's very difficult on this, on this camera but I'm going to show you my uh, little salon and um, I also wanted to ask you if you need any type of content, please let me know. Uh, WhatsApp me and uh, let me know. Also, I'm going to start doing uh, training on a Monday, one-on-ones, or I can take two students at a time. Um, and I will be starting that shortly. So if any of you are interested, please um, WhatsApp me on 083 786 1590 and um, don't forget to hit that subscription button, like and subscribe. And I will start sending you a lot more um, new um, information <coughs> and new things um, to see. All right, so let me show you my little salon. It's a very small salon. Um, I work by myself, so I don't have staff or anything like that. So I do one-on-one -on -one patients. And um, I personalize their treatments um, to suit their lifestyles, to suit their nail condition, um, and things like that. So that's very, very important how you um, then do your consultation with your clients and then to know what treatment to give them um, for their nails and what's going to be the best outcome and the best product um, to use for a certain nail type. So in my salon, I have, um, I use Biosculpture for my soft gel and I use a hard gel. So I use LCN, which is one of my favorite brands for a hard gel, as well as Light Elegance. I use the two um, only because I, I, you know, I had quite a lot of that stock as well. So those are the my three go-to um, um, gels. So I do predominantly gel in the salon. Um, I do do a little bit of acrylic, but that's only on request um, at this point in time. But let me show you around. So I'm going to just move this camera so that you can see. So these are the shelves that I had made um, on the wall. Uh, this point in time, you can see all the different products. And then I'm going to move it across and you can see my little corner unit there. And then we're going to move it around. So that's my door. I've closed it for the uh, shooting. And there you'll see I designed my pedicure station. Um, so I made it like a throne. And then we have my retail section over here. Um, and I put all my retail there. Let me just see if it's not better to just put on a light. There we go. So you can see that's better. So that is my um, pedicure station. I hang my apron on the wall. Uh, there's my sterilizing unit. Um, and then we move it around. There's our window. <laughs> with our flowers and we will get around to me again so let's go like that all right so as you can see i've still got my daughter's painting behind me which i love which is very special to me all right so today i thought i would do a um a refill uh, with you guys so that you can see how to do a refill. So without further ado, I'm going to show you this is the new Biosculpture um, extractor fan. All right. And I'll show you it is very silent. It doesn't make a lot of noise and you've got a lot of different settings here. So you can go lower or higher and then what I tend to do is can you see how this sucks the cotton roll 
So here you can see these are my nails. Um, let me just get to them. All right, these are my nails. You can see how dry are these cuticles. And I've been doing so much to try and get these cuticles. Um, they've been so dry, I think, from COVID and having to put, um, you know, hand sanitizer and sterilizers on our hands. It's kind of um, made our cuticles really dry. All right, so I'm going to show you. I've got also um, the new whisper which is a beautiful beautiful um e-file i really recommend the uh, whisper and that's also very very quiet okay and we are going to then i have got all my bits so we will explain these bits the funniest thing is you can see there's different color codes on these bits so you've got red, you've got blue. I don't have any green because that's the, the one of the strongest. Um, so the red, funny enough, is the, the lightest one that you can get. Um, so it's very gentle on the, um, you know, on the natural nail. You basically just want to remove um, the colored gel. And um, I have hard gel underneath my... Uh, I call it my protection manicure. So I've got a hard gel and underneath my nail. So I don't need to, I can soak off if I want to, but I don't need to soak off. I literally just use an e-file to remove um, the actual um, gel polish. I'm going to use my drill bit and I'm using a blue so it's like a medium um, course, I'm going to unlock my drawer. Hold on, let me just unlock it. And we're going to put our drawer bit in there and then lock it. All right, so I'm going to use um, on a natural nail, you only use sort of five RPMs, uh, you know, sort of five, six RPMs. But for this, I'm going to be doing my um, gel removal so I'm going to just make lines down the gel as you can see you're not going to press hard into the nail you see like that you don't want to hear that sound you just want to take lines down so now at the moment we are getting rid of the top coat and we've got to do the side walls so for the purpose of time and everything we will just do um, the one nail I could pause the video and then go on to the next um, but let's just do this so you see, I'm taking my time to remove the gel color, all right? And I'm traveling all the way around the nail. And then the most important thing is going to be your cuticle work. So I'm not drilling or filing on the natural nail at all. This is all on top of gel. Can we see how you just need to be patient, don't go crazy. See, I'm not even through to the actual um, hard gel yet. I'm still basically filing the color off. And I'm supporting the handpiece with my pinky and I'm moving it towards me. I can take the RPM up a little bit. Let's take the RPM up a little bit. So now I'm sitting at about 12 RPMs. So 
So when I applied this gel, I applied thin layers to make sure that it cures under the UV lamp. So you need to ensure that your product is curing under the UV lamp. See there, we're coming, getting through there. Look where all the dust is going. It's sucking up in here. And why I like the Colton roll on it is because it's easy to clean between plants. So now I'm just going to go down the side. And you can see there's the hard gel. So now I just want to make sure. I'm going very carefully. You've got to be very careful how you use your drill. And especially when you get to the cuticle area. Because you don't want to get any um, burn rings or anything like that on the nail. So wherever the product is, I'm going to lightly do where the product is. And there's just a little bit that's near the cuticle and that we'll use one of our prep tools. All right, so now I'm going to turn that drill off. And I'm going to show you what we do. So all the dust landed up on here. And all you need to do is literally fold your Colton roll away and your unit is nice and clean for the next plant. So that's what you can do with your um, extractor fan. So I'm going to move that out of the way. All right, so now, and I can do reviews for you on LCN, on Light Elegance. Um, I can show you how to work with all the different products. Uh, you must just let me know what you what you want. All right, so now once I've removed all of that, I'm going to use my uh, cleanser so that's your isopropyl alcohol. And we're just going to wipe all the dust away and I wipe underneath the nail as well. So this is my hard gel. Why I like the hard gel is because I'm not a fan of um, sitting and soaking off for hours. It's just, um, I just don't have time to sit and wait. Um, but if you are going to, you know, preserve a natural nail and you've got a soft gel, then you do need to soak off. Uh, nothing wrong with it. Um, it's just your choices, what you prefer. So I'm pushing back the cuticles now, and now we are going to take a different butt. And remember to sterilize all your bits. So I'm going to use a cuticle bit. And the cuticle bit that I'm going to use is, let's just have a look. Um, I'm going to use this. So the red is very, very light. All right. I'm going to put it into my drill. And I'm going to only turn it on to 5 RPM. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm pulling back the skin on the side. And let's get rid of all that dead skin there. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. Okay. And then you keep the drill bit flat. You don't hold it at any other angle except flat. All right. So I'm hooking it under that cuticle and I'm taking it around like that. So you can get rid of, if you lift that cuticle up like that, let's try and get rid of all that 
dry skin. Another drill bit that's very good for the dry skin is one of these. Let me show you. So let's get so we've got a little ball, and these are also very, very good just to get rid of any dry skin around the cuticle area. So let's just get rid of all this dry skin here. Can you see that's dry skin on my skin? And just take all that dry bits away. And you can wipe it on the side. Right. And now I'm going to give it a cleanse again. And then I'm going to take a file. And I'm just going to use a 240 grit, 240 grit, and we're just going to take it along the edges. So this prep is very, very important, very, very important. So here we have our hard gel. I like hard gel for long extensions too. Um, for me, the hard gel is um, like an, you know, it's as strong as acrylic, and um, I like the flexibility that gel gives. Um, whereas a a uh, acrylic doesn't give the same sort of flexibility. All right, so now I'm just going along the barrel. So I'm making sure down the barrel that it's even all the way around, okay? And you can see a hard gel just buffs beautifully. Just really easy to buff. Can you see there? Okay. So any lifting bits, you must also make sure that you remove those. Okay. So now I'm going to just give it another cleanse. There you have it. We are now prepped and ready to go. All right. Let's see. So that's got to dry before you do anything. Um, so with my hard gel um, application, um, if I was just going to, because I don't need... You know, there's not such a big um, gap. I could use, so with LCN, I use the two-in-one. So that's a base and a top coat in one, uh, which is great because you just need to put one coat on the nail. So I'm going to now rub this in to onto my natural nail. Make sure you get the sides. Make sure you do a nice generous coat that it's not too thin, but you don't want it running into the cuticle area. So I don't need to redo my apex at this point in time because this is just a little fill in between always make sure to clean up around the nail before you put it into the uv lamp all right and now we are going to cure for 60 seconds right so as you can see we've cured our product and I'm just going to lightly um, wipe this dispersion layer lightly wipe it 
and then you can put two coats on top your color and you've basically done a quick fill very easy fill easy maintenance and without making the nail get thicker and thicker every single time so if the nail grew out even further then you'd have to obviously build up your part of your apex again so at this point in time if you look at these um, it's not such a huge uh, amount that's there my next fill i would just you know make a note my next fill would be where i'd pull up um, and build from the back again so i hope that um, gave you some kind of ideas on how to do a quick easy maintenance and a little bit on prep and how to use your e-file let me know if there is anything that you guys would like to um uh, for me to do i'll be only too happy to make the, the the videos for you and also um don't forget to hit that subscription button like and subscribe and uh, let me know how i can help you i look forward to seeing you again soon bye for now